Alicia came to live with me when she was 16. She was living with Michelle. Mm -hmm. After being abused by her father for 10 years, Alicia Fox's grandmother gained custody of her. Alicia's aunt Shelley lives in the same house. They say it took four years for Alicia to be able to communicate with them. It, it was hard for us because Alicia couldn't um, express herself. So I, I remember one night when she was having some bad night tears or PTSD was going on or flashbacks and she was curled up in her bed in the fetal position and I she just wouldn't speak or anything and that was when I first got her and I I literally didn't know what to do so I just pulled a chair from the kitchen and pulled it next to her bed and just sat there in case she would get up or need me or I mean so sometimes it's just a matter of being there even if you don't think you're making a difference, just have to be there. I knew even in my darkest times that they were there. I'm not concerned about whether somebody is gonna hurt me or whether I'm not gonna have food on the table or whatever the array of situation might be. <laughs> I can go home, I go home with my dog, I go home with my family, like <laughs> it's a loving environment and that's where people can strive. When they have connections, they strive and when they don't, they don't get their needs met and my needs were met in times 10. So that's where, that's where healing can begin, that's where your recovery story can happen. So I've probably been in over 10 foster homes, group homes, three. I've been in the juvenile shelter home like three, four times. And then the detention center, I was there probably a lot. After her mother died and she was removed from her home because her father abused her, Tammy Fry had gotten in enough trouble that the state recommended she be sent to the juvenile prison for girls. The judge in her case did not send her. Instead, she went to one last foster home. She is now aged out. When I get stressed out, sometimes I just pray to my mom. I don't know, it makes me feel better. Tammy has advice for adults who work with children who have experienced trauma. Be mindful and respect what the kids have been through and just kind of work with them and not give up on them, give them chances, work with them, not just throw them back out to be placed in another home. What are you looking at? Yeah. Tammy has started her own home and family. She recently had a baby, naming the girl after her late mother. Yeah. My mom is part of her. I really do believe that. Excuse me. I want her to have the life that I never lived, that I never had. That's, she's my everything. I would do anything for her. Sometimes when I'm really confused or I'm really stressed out, just being around a horse is like really helpful to me because they put me in check, I guess, with understanding myself. Reina Saldana says she learned more about how to find calm and be able to pull herself back from violent outbursts after coming to understand her trauma. Trauma resulting from abuse and then repeated placements where she was physically restrained, including the juvenile prison for girls. Speaking about it sometimes is really raw for me because I haven't even really worked through a lot of it, you know? But with the help of caring adults, Raina worked through enough of it that she graduated from high school and never entered the adult prison system. Got it. She says when she was a child, no one seemed to understand her behavior was the result of trauma. Today, she understands she is resilient. I don't think giving up is really an option because I feel like I have a lot to say that other people may not have experienced. And I really hope that like, if I keep going, pushing through my things, I can help those other kids, like the other kids I roomed with in these facilities and the other kids I watched be restrained when there was no need for it, but I knew that, but the facility didn't. 
Awesome. Good girl. I started doing speaking and being able to say my story. And it took me a while to even decide to do that. Because I was like, no. No, I don't want people to know. Like, I don't even want to think about it. I am still today, as an adult, working through things that happened to me when I was 10. We got this. These children, they want to make us happy. They want to be proud, but they just need somebody to take the time to slow it down to make sure they get the things they need. I thought we were gonna eat some fried fish together. As for the 16-year-old in so much trouble who appeared in his courtroom. So much pain, so much pain, so much brokenness. Judge Everett Mitchell just wishes someone, anyone, had taken the time so much earlier to see the trauma and help set the boy and others like him on a better path. I really have embraced the idea, like Frederick Douglass said, it is far easier to build strong children than to repair broken men.